everyone. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the pipelines feature within the Power Platform. Today we are going to go over how to set up the uh, pipeline environment, the pipeline configuration uh, tool, and then we're going to show how to um, set up your first pipeline. All right, let's get started. All right, so one of the main things that you need to know is um, when we set this up, we need to set up your development environments and your downstream environments. So, and you, need, you also need to, to have a separate pipeline environment. The pipeline environment hosts um, the pipeline configuration tool, which is what, the, what you're seeing on the screen right now. So let's look at, um, let's go to the pipeline tool. So first what you want to do is go to this little um, gearbox up in the top right and you want to go to the admin center. And if you've set up uh, environments before, then you'll you'll recognize how to do this pretty easily. So go to manage, go to environments, and then what you want to do is you want to do new and put in the the name of the environment. Um, you can check check to see if you want to do new features. The type it doesn't really matter. Um, you want to have your um, development and testing environments uh, sandbox and then you could have your your prod environment as production or sandbox doesn't really matter um, production will will be um, will have more resources allocated to it versus a sandbox environment one of the other key features is or key things that you need to do is to add a dataverse data store so when you want to set up the pipeline environment just do name it pipelines or whatever you want to do Make sure you add a data store, and then you can either pay as you go, um, or uh, you can do regular Power Apps licensing. But it does require a premium license to to use. So let's go up here. Let's do pipelines. Choose a region, sandbox. We'll just do a, a regular. Uh, sandbox environment, data store, yes, yes. And what we want to do is billing policy. Yeah, if you do page, you go. So we're going to go here, go next. Add the security group. So right here we have global admin or power ups dev. I suggest always doing a, a security group whenever you create a, an environment. Um, URL, it's best to just configure the URL here. Um, you do it like that. And then I always push no on deploy sample apps and data. Um, it's just a, you know, uh, there's no issue with capacity, or there's less issue with capacity constraints if you don't enable that. So, And then you push save. All right, so we already have this installed. But there's one other key thing that you need to do. You need to go and click on it. And then you need to go up to um, resources. And then um, it would be Dynamics 365 apps. And then install app. And then you need to go down here to Microsoft, and it should be mm -hmm. it should be 
open here as a pipeline. Have it installed already. So to see what it actually looks like, it's Power Platform Pipelines. But this is not going to automatically be installed. You need to find it in that Install Apps area. So let's go back up here. Install App Power Platform. Let's see if we can find it in here. Yeah. It's because it's already installed. Um, it's not showing up here. But if we go to a different environment, let's go to let's go to Dev. We, you don't need to do that, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Go to Dynamics 365 Apps. Go to Install. Power Platform Pipelines. So click here, and then you click um, select, and then you do agree to the terms, and then it'll install everything. So that's what's in here. All right. So once you get the, once you get the, this. Power Apps Pipeline Solution installed. Then what you'll notice is when you go to the Pipelines environment that you just set up. And you go to Apps. And you want to click on, this is the Deployment Pipeline Configuration app. That's the one that really matters. Click on play, and then here it is. So let's let's do let's go to pipelines. This is how you actually configure a pipeline. Click on new, name it. I like to name it standard pipeline. Deployment pipeline. Click save. All right. So now you can link multiple development environments to this to this uh, to this pipeline. But what I'm going to show you is we'll do here new. Go to dev environment type. It's going to be a development environment. The difference between a development environment is where you make the thing, make the application, and then a target environment would be like a downstream environment like test or production or UAT. Um, so we'll, we'll set those up in a, in a little bit. Environment ID. So this is the GUID for the environment that you're um, setting up. So in here, a really quick way to find that information is to go to dev, go to the environment that you're trying to go to, go up here to the gearbox, click on here and go to developer resources. Click on here and then copy this ID right here. Paste it. Okay, save and close. Click on Add Existing, select it, click Add. All right. So now we're going to do the downstream environments, the deployment stages, essentially, downstream environments. So go to New Deployment Stage. And test. And then Previous Deployment Stage, in this case, it would be 
nothing because it's going from development to test. Target de deployment environment ID. So click on here, do new deployment environment. This would be test. Environment type is target. Environment ID. So go back to here, click on the environment that you want. So in this case, it's going to be test. Click on here, and you want to go to developer resources. Click on environment ID. Go back here, paste it in here. Save and close. Okay, there's not going to be a pre-export step required and a pre-deployment step is not going to be required. And we'll talk about uh, delegated deployment in a future video. So then we want to save and close. So now that's the test environment. Now we're going to do production. previous deployment stage, this is where you would select test. So it needs to pass through test before it goes to the production phase. So then target environment deployment. Okay, right here. So new deployment environment. We'll do prod. Target environment, environment ID. Up here. Save and close. And save and close. All right. And that's, that is all you need to do just to initially set up the pipeline. So let's save and close this. Now we can go back to here, go to development environment, select a, a uh, solution. So it's important, we're only deploying solutions. So when we want to uh, deploy a solution, we would go here to budget tool. This is one of them, budget tool. Click on the, on the solution and then under pipelines, select this. And now we have the standard pipeline to, to select. All the pipelines that you've configured would be in this drop down here. What we would do now is go to deploy here. Go to, go to next. Go to next, go to deploy. And it's really as simple as that. The other, it, it does get more complicated if you want to, let's say, uh, have like a delegated user owning the solution um, in the downstream environments, then there's additional configuration that needs to happen. Um, we will go over that in a future video. Um, let's, let's wait to see um, list deployed and and there we go. So it's uh, 
it has deployed to the test environment. So if we go to the test environment, go to solutions, go to managed, and there it is. And it is a managed solution. So if you wanted to play it, all right, there you go. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.